Bom, 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 I need intro music. It is Friday evening. Welcome, everybody. Heading over to Hollow City, going to Cicero's Food and General Goods. It is Friday, which means it is time for Live Luxury Showdown. Every Friday evening, the Weekend Luxury Prestige Furniture pops up. Xenal Thren and has some wares for us. And for the contest, I'm going to buy up a bunch of whatever happens to be on the Luxury Furniture vendor. I'll go plop them all in my in my home and we have three contestants waiting and they will create something out of nothing but these luxury furnishings and I'll do that all within the space of 30 minutes so Daniel has just popped up big crowd here Let's see what he has to offer this weekend okay is torture items two new items this week over last year you only get these once per year Friday, people in Twitch chat. Okay, so we have new item, bandages, blood soaked. We have body cage. This was this was from last year, but again this year. Orcish burial urn exhumed. Ooh, that's quite a good skeleton model in there. Fetal position. Nice big item. Wonder what the bottom of this looks like. Could be, could be interesting. And then torture rack. This was from last year. And torture wheel. Again, this was from last year. The torture wheel, extremely popular. It's ended up being very valuable. It's a big animated. Really adds a lot to any sort of dungeon room or whatever whatever you're using this for. And might be a good investment. It is one hundred thousand gold. So. So we have bandages, these are 2,000. Body cage, 5,000. Burial urn, 20,000. Torture rack for 5,000. And torture wheel for 100,000. So plan here is I'm gonna buy up a bunch of these. And we have our three contestants, so they're each gonna have some of these to work with. Try to give them each 50 bandages. them each 15 body cages to work with. The burial urns are kind of weird. Let's, let's give them each it's gonna be pricey. We'll give them each 20 of these to work with. It's part of the challenge of the contest is that they do have to work within within these limits. Try to give them each 20 of these. Maybe that's not enough. Blowing all my gold here. Okay, and torture wheels are really expensive. I don't maybe don't want them using too many torture wheels. Ah oh, man, how many can I get away with? Eight. Eight sounds. Eight sounds good. Is this going to be enough items? It's going to be a challenge. I don't even know if I can afford these. Okay. Okay, they'll each get twenty of each of these, thirty of these, fifty of these. Eight torture wheels. Okay, they won't have as many items to work with. Going a little a little lighter this week. Though dropping five million on all this doesn't feel very light. Urn is new. Yes, urn is new. Yeah, uh, normally there have only been like one new furnishing per weekend. So getting two is a nice, nice surprise. The bandages have been data mined, so this exhumed burial urn certainly a surprise. Help me, Jesus! This week is especially gross. Okay, so we do have our contestants here. We are in the showdown stadium. 
Okay, we'll get each of these placed, and then once that's done... Oh, these are kind of small. Well, I'll be fun. Detail item. Small bloody bandages. And at only 2,000 gold, these will probably be pretty popular. People, people love them gore. It's like about everybody has a torture basement. Maybe they're just mimicking what they do in real life. Not sure, not sure. I suppose ESO lets you live out your fantasies. Okay, so then we have torture rack. Okay, I'll each get 30 of these to work with. Quite a bit bigger than the bandages. Titan is coming. We do have our three contestants. And if you would ever like to be a contestant, we do have the live literature show done every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you ever want to take a stab at it, Ooh. Getting a weird effect there. Okay, torture wheel. They'll each get eight of these to work with. <laughs> Stacking these up gives a really interesting effect. <laughs> that was funny. It looks awesome. Tim didn't really intend to do that. Try to space them out a little bit. <laughs> this super torture wheel nearly works. Hey, if you, have, if you have a million gold to spare, you could do it all the way around. Okay, the other item was the body cage. I could get 20 of these to work with. Torture this weekend. Fifth item was the urn. Exhumed urn. Orcish burial urn exhumed. I should get 20 of these. That's ah, actually kind of small. I guess I didn't expect it to be so small. A bit more realistic. Twenty for you. Twenty for you, and that'll be all five items. Okay, so how this works is we have these five luxury furnishings all placed. We have our three contestants here. They will create something out of nothing but these five luxury furnishing items, and they will only have 30 minutes to do it. So it is a quick build challenge. It will be a challenge, so... We are going to be starting in just a few seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Okay, so clock is ticking. Let me get that up in OBS. There we go. Clock is up. 30 minutes on the clock. So our contestants now have 30 minutes to create something. Something artsy, something decorative, something something creative. And they only have 30 minutes to do it. Good. Whoop. Not what I wanted. There we go. Get rid of my status bar. You can see more of what they are building. And I will go ahead and introduce our contestants here really quick. <laughs> Zumi says it looks crazy when you stack these. Yes, it does. Might be a good idea. I mean, if you just space it out, like ping, 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 then, then you can get them to be even. I did it really quickly, so they're really close to each other. 
I didn't think it's it kind of a cool effect though. But these cost a hundred thousand each, so might not might not be able to do it too too much. It's pretty nice though. Ooh, even if just from the top. It's kinda of cool. Okay. Titan. Titan. Here is our uh, returning champion from last week. They had used the torture items from last weekend which were different than all these, uh, to create a spider daedra. It was quite awesome. If you want to go see screenshots of that or see last week's video, you can see that at spicyeconomics.com. I have a post up with the screenshots of the entries and a video if you care to peruse that. So spicyeconomics.com does have all of our previous entries. And if you're interested in being a participant, maybe maybe check that out so you can get a better better feel of the contest. Titan, good luck. Maybe you can win this week as well. And here we have Murkami. Also just goes by Kami. Have some info about Kami. They say that they've been in online gaming for over 15 years and that they actually met their husband in EverQuest. So, gaming bringing people together. Kami, mostly PvEs, but they also enjoy PvP, though they've been more just trading and doing kind of PvE things lately because college is uh, causing them to be distracted a bit, so maybe good to prioritize that. And they have not invested in a large house yet, but when they have more time to play, then they'll invest in a large house. Yeah, those those can be a challenge to fill. You need more more time to decorate. And Kami says that they do think that the housing needs a higher item cap, but also for the collectible pet limit. They say that it holds them back from spending more crowns on pets since there isn't room for them all. And Kami says, how can I be a crazy cat lady when I can't even display all my cats? So. Good luck to Kemi, the cat lady. <laughs> Good luck. This feels very mechanical here. I have I have no mind for engineering. So I hope that they come up with something that I could never have thought of. Little SVS. Is our third contestant. Goes by T. Jess, character name. They say that they are currently spending their days decorating their Sleek Creek house, and they are doing that as a hotel wedding destination. And they love the little water feature that comes with the Sleek Creek house. And T. Jess says that they are definitely a PvE player. They like to explore and find fun little hideaways and treasure, and PvE allows them to set their own pace. They say that they haven't tried PvP or RP yet. They say that PvP is seems intense, maybe too intense for them. You can get into it. Join a battlegrounds or something. It's pretty easy to get into. I've been having kind of battlegrounds lately. And they say that they worry about RP because they think that it would take up all their time and they need to keep their job. Fair enough, fair enough. And they're really happy with the latest improvement with the outfitting station and being able to have more control over your clothing. So that was a good improvement to the game. Looking forward to more changes with Somerset. I do think that slow as it might be, the game does keep getting better and better with every update. So good luck to all of our contestants. Address some of the Twitch chat that has happened while I was doing that. Russianator says, hi, welcome. Yes, it's five items. Two of them are new. We have two new items. We have this Orcish Burial Urn Exhumed. So you have a skeleton model in here and kind of ash, ashy, dusty stuff along with a broken urn. And then we have these bandages, bloody bandages. Maybe you can use them for non-nefarious purposes. Maybe in a hospital. Maybe 
These will be used in mostly, mostly bad ways. Maybe, maybe. Put them in your torture room or in the bathroom or whatever. People are going to be weird. I know it's coming. I'm not the only one. LBG says, more slots, please. Yes. Housing item cap increase would go a long way. And improving housing, people feel real, really constricted. It's not even just that people like necessarily want to just add tons of items. It's that they feel limited, as is. I think just removing removing that psychological psychological cap is more more impactful than even the physical limitations of it. Julikin says, hi stream. Hello, hello, welcome everybody in Twitch chat. This is our 13th live luxury showdown torture items this week. Big animated noisy wheel torture rack body cage and this exhumed urn this is new this is 20,000 gold and we have the bloody bandages these are only 2,000 gold not a lot of gold to put forward so if you do have a little bit extra luxury furnishings have tended to be a good long-term investment though you do tie up your gold in the meantime so Mostly focus on what you plan to use these for, but some of these might be good investments. Not too many people bought torture wheels last time just because of the high price. At the time, it was the most expensive thing that had ever been on the luxury furniture, so people kind of thought it was a lot, but when the prices shot up to 500k per wheel, then, then maybe people were thinking that they didn't buy enough originally, so... I imagine more will be bought this year, and that will be more accessible and available to those that didn't pick them up this weekend. But for now, if you want to pick these up, you can go to Hollow City, you can go to Cicero's, pick up some of the latest luxury furnishings. We are... 21, 21 minutes left. Okay, so our contestants here are creating things out of torture items. I don't necessarily have to keep the torture theme, so be interested to see what they create here. Coming together. Definitely using the torture wheels as a wheel. Nice round object. Also has so much motion with it. Very mechanical. And in a creative sense, you can pretty well just kind of overlook the skeletons if that's necessary. Bunny Bush says, even a crown store upgrade for more slots for housing would be great. Yeah, I agree. If they if they want to do if they want to go the crown rate if they want to go the crown route with housing item slots, I think that would be fine. Let's can monetize and keep the game going. I have eternal hunt. I keep forgetting that. I keep sleeping runes everywhere. Russianator says the skeletons are the people who didn't get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, so so you get impaled by these as this is just rolling along. <laughs> That's funny. It's like a fly trap except for four people. No. Let's see if I can get myself hooked. It'd be fun if these actually had collision individually so you could ride them. I think that's not quite there in the programming. 
it would be fun to actually be able to move with items, so I can imagine there's a few reasons why they wouldn't want that. They have those sequence spools, too, that look kind of like conveyor belts if you place them on the side. It'd be fun just to have like a little ride that you could place if they actually did move you like that. Some sort of wheeled contraption coming up. That's almost like a motorcycle. It has extra wheels, so a wagon of some sort. Well, he's not finished. Oh, and we still have time. So this is coming together. <laughs> First, need a roadkill. just choosing to work in the air. Maybe this is supposed to be a flying contraption. Kind of like those... What are, they, what are they called? The hovercraft type things that have the big, the big wheels. Kind of getting a bit of that feel from this. Twitch chat people, what do you think of these torture items? I think I'm more excited to have the torture wheel back than I am about these new two new items. So the model on the skeleton is pretty nice. But you have to deal with everything it's surrounded by. Yeah, 17 minutes left. And the bloody, band bloody bandages. Though it's nice to get something a little cheaper. These are only 2,000 gold. So definitely more affordable than, say, the 100,000 gold torture wheel. Julie Kitten says that the offerings this week are rather macabre. That they are. So not only do you have the, the death and the skeletons and the torture and the implications there, you kind of have the fresh bandages that still have the red blood on them. So this is an ongoing process. This isn't just a you stumbled across it. Maybe that's another thing with the torture wheel is if, if the animation of this definitely gives it more of a recent feel. This is still still in progress. This isn't some old defunct torture room. It's just that these haven't been removed for a while. Almost halfway done. Ooh, I see a seat. So we have some sort of a wheeled vehicle that also has a steering wheel along with a place to sit up there. I don't think I can get up there. Ah. Nope. Not quite. I want to go sit up there. Might have to add a ramp at the end. But definitely look nice. I'm <laughs> putting, putting the exhumed bodies here in the wheel spokes. Spikes. Hubs. What are the pokey out parts on the wheels? The spokes are the bits between. Kind of like those trucks that have those basically daggers sticking out of them. Together, what TGS has created here. Maybe it's just a sculpture. Maybe that's a face. We'll find out. 
almost looks like an AT-AT. Kind of. Maybe, maybe it's just some mechanical bits to it. And the straight lines. Okay. We do have judges joining us. We have Swankery. But their, their Discord is not working very well. But they are here joining us in spirit, I suppose. Though it won't feel like that when the judging actually happens and prizes are on the line. So each of our contestants will go home with one of each of these luxury furnishings, which is quite a lot of value. And the winner gets a triple helping. So not only do they get three torture racks and some bodies, but they also get three torture wheels. So quite a big prize for the winner today. So do put in your best effort. Win live luxury showdown number 13 and win triple torture items. Though I do appreciate all the contestants and they've done a fantastic job every week. So excited Decided to have our decorator contestants here. Ezo. Let's see. Krabs is here. Krabs? It's Mr. Krabs. This is Mr. Krabs. Over here. Oh, it, it does look like a crab. Turning mechanical torture things into a more natural animal. If that's what it is. Definitely looks like it. Definitely getting an animal vibe. Kind of futuristic. Like, a bit fantastical. If it's just supposed to be a crab, I, it feels a little bit more artsy than just that. Looking great. Hello. Hello, is that Swankery? I made it. <laughs> you okay? So your Discord, you figured it out. Yep, I did. Great, Swankery, from Divine Design Alliance. Is that how? From where you hail? That is from where I hail. Yes. Yes. Swankery has done an excellent job being a judge for us every week for Live Luxury Showdown. What do you make of torture items this week? Well. I love anything animated. However, uh, I'm not so much into the torture self personally, but I think uh, Fair enough. still pretty cool. I like this new item. The little a little bit on the creepy side, but still kind of neat. A little curled up um, skeleton in the in the jar. It's all right. Yeah. How about the bandages? Little bandages. Uh, I haven't closely inspected them yet. Oh, They're right here. Well, they're as expected. <laughs> a little gross. <laughs> I didn't look at the bottom of them, though. Seems like... Well, I haven't mm. seen them really be incorporated into these builds yet. Mm. They're, they're, they're fairly small. That they are fairly small. Think. More of a detail item. Let's, I'm trying to see if they're actually adding them yet. They might. That's what I gave them most of, so they're probably going to run out of items otherwise. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, if this is a crab, I mean, you could make it a little bit more red. <laughs> one one bloody bandage at a time. They're so such like gangly pieces. They they have bits of them sticking out. It, as far as the artistic presentation of this, I think it's pretty easy just to overlook that though. Kind of using these torture racks just as flat items and the wheels. You just kind of pretend like they don't have skeletons or chains hanging off them. But from a broad, broad view, it looks just fine. Jokin says it reminds me of the film Hellraiser. Let's see, is that? 
I don't even remember, like a poster <laughs> with somebody with spikes all over their head. Is that different? Not familiar with the movie. I didn't realize that the top of it actually has uh, that nice, shiny, reflective, eye-catching blue on the oh, top yes. of the torture wheel. Yeah, we saw that last week nice. with the like the Iron Maiden. They they had the little blue embedded bits on it, and you can see that with the torture wheel too. It has a reflective blue on the top of it. I suppose normally you can't really get a good view of that. And the bottom as well. The base has this really pretty bright blue on it. In the right in the right light. Pinhead. Oh that's Pinhead. I don't know what Hellraiser is though. Sorry. Let's, let's see, we are thirty minutes left. Eight, wait, eight minutes left. Oh no. Time's flying. They've been building for 22 minutes already. I mean, going with a steering wheel powered chair, go kart. Looks fun. I want. I want to take it for a ride. A little big for me though. I don't know if I can reach the steering wheel or the pedals if there are any. For giants only. It's for giants only. No or fair. maybe it's a remote control car or something. Oh, it could be. Mm. Put your giant fighter robot in it. Oh, Ubin is here. Another judge. I think they're on Discord, but just silent. That's okay. Missing Ninja Monkey. I hope Ninja comes. Probably lots to talk about in this video today. That's all. Let's see. So I started to make a seat something out of this. So the bottom of the exhumed... Oop, I was able to get on it. It does have a pretty cool flat surface with the texture on it. I'm glad that they are keeping with adding textures to the bottom of items. It allows people to do something with the flat surfaces. Hello says great items this week. Yeah, I think that they're pretty decent, and things like the torture rack are pretty reasonably priced. And the body cage, torture wheel is expensive, but it's big and animated and audible. Definitely a good centerpiece. But do and deck out your torture rooms if you have them, or use them to make something creative. <laughs> kind of like a robotic crab. I wouldn't want to. Looks like a boss. Come jab, jab, jab it, because that's all I know how to do as a Templar. Stormahawk is here. Previous contestant, previous judge, co guild leader of Spicy Economics. Here as a backup judge. Okay, we have less than five minutes left. LVG says that they like that they have sound effects. Yeah, uh, I was just going to... Go ahead. I was just going to say, is all that, and it is great. That's something you can even bury in the wall if all you really want is to have those sound effects. Even if you don't want to see the wheel. Yes, have that creakiness. I've, I've seen people do that before. They'll have some sort of a mechanical setup, even just like an old-timey 
type of a feel, and then it just kind of gives that gives that feel of kind of creaky wood boards or like a an engine that needs yeah. some oil. <laughs> yeah. Very expensive sound effect, yeah. 100,000 gold. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Take it where you can get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope Ninja Monkey's okay. We'll see. We'll do a giveaway during the judging to those that are in Twitch chat. I'm not sure what I can afford. <laughs> I don't, I'm tempted to do torture wheel. I don't know if I should do torture wheel. Okay, we have three minutes left. Three minutes left. And we have 30 minutes. It goes by fast. Real. Okay, I, I just don't think I can afford it, so. I'll do one of everything else. How, how about that? That seems fair. It's still pretty good value. Contestants putting on the final touches for their luxury showdown builds. Making something out of nothing but these luxury furnishings. And in only 30 minutes, it is a challenge. These are looking great, though. So I'm, I'm impressed. Creative wellspring of talent in ESO. Yep, swords of ice, I could see better. Good luck of these. Wrapping it up, a minute and a half left. Torture week. Though, you know, considering the theme for the luxury furniture, these don't look, these don't look too scary. These don't look like torturous items. And that's kind of what you can do with with the housing decorations in ESO is that you can repurpose them, use them for something other than what they just kind of inherently are. So definitely getting those creative juices out there. And hopefully, hopefully you can get some inspiration about what you might be able to do in your own homes in ESO. And decorate and decorating doesn't necessarily have to take you a lot of time. I mean, they've been able to put these builds together in only 30 minutes. You don't necessarily have to stress about every pixel by pixel, though I know a lot of people do that. 30 seconds left. Only 30 seconds. Last, last opportunity to make any changes. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it is over. Okay. Telling them it is over. It is over. Okay, so we have our submissions for live luxury showdown number 13. These are all put together in 30 minutes. These look great, though, so I'll get their interpretation of what they have built. Okay, telling them to tell me what they've made or what has inspired them. And then we will have our judges... Take a look at this.
Oh no, I have no ninja monkey. As of, well, wrong, wrong. I want to see if he's online. Oh no. That's okay. We'll make do. If, uh. <laughs> Can't be used as it has wheels. Okay, we will get our. Maybe I'll have Stormhawk fill in for, for Ninja Monkey. Ninja Monkey normally joins with us. He does put out his own luxury videos every weekend. Maybe when we got tied up for movies and having connection problems. Don't know. Hi, J-Hard. It's a Stormahawk. Welcome. Hello. Okay, so we have our three submissions here. Are you really quiet? Are you really quiet? You sound good. Okay. I so. just heard myself echo in your stream, so I just muted the stream. <laughs> yeah, you have to do that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Zermahawk, for guest judging for us. Okay, so we have we have our three entries and we have our three three judges. Wubin's in the judging room. No, they'll, they'll they'll judge. If you if you have voice chat, you're welcome to do that too. If Wubin's here. Okay, getting everything situated. Okay, first of all, we have T. Jess has a giant mechanical crab. Definitely looks like it. This is this is pretty fun. What do judges think of giant mechanical crab? I like that. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is making a vehicle out of the wheels, not a crab. So. It's creative. Yeah, very creative. Definitely getting like the shell vibe from, from the top. Very deflecting. <laughs> and protective, it looks like, so. It's a cool. robot. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like if you're going to crack that shell, you might, might be in for a couple of spiky bits. I, I wouldn't want to mess with this crab delicious as it might be. It doesn't have much meat on it. No, it might not might not be worth the trouble. Mm-mm. <laughs> so we saw we have the eye stalks using the burial urns there and using the body cages. Body cage for the stock and eyes are the urns. Sorry, and we have the claws made out of these torture racks. Definitely gives that kind of pincer effect. And oh, he's he's actually holding on to one of these, one of these items, picking up something. It's excavating. It's excavating. Oh, could be. It's exhuming, exhuming the dead. Adding to its own. Okay, great, great job, T. Jess, with the giant mechanical crab made out of luxury items. Tempered Roller says, "Very good use of the items this week. This motion on the torture wheels is great." Yes, great job. Okay, next up we have Titan. Is this Titans? I think this is Titans. Okay, Titan says... <laughs> they say they'd be more than happy to write any of these. Alright, Titan, what did you make here? Looks like a vehicle of some sort. Maybe I missed it. Yes, scroll up. Did, did I miss it? 
Oh, okay, it's a motorcycle with more back wheels. Okay. Motorcycle with an extra set of wheels. This would be a... Um, Sexist I don't cycle. know if you guys are old enough. Do you, do you guys remember the, the Hot Wheels? Plastic toy you could drive around as a kid. Just had a seat. and I looked a lot like this, to be frank. Oh, okay. My car the has a seat. It was loads of fun. <laughs> so it has six wheels. No, it has five wheels. So it would be a quintocycle. I like how they use the bottoms of the urns to create the, the seat there. Yeah, that's like really cool. And the fact that it actually has a, a motorcycle shape out of the torture racks. And even that little front bit out of the urns for the, you know, that part of the motorcycle. It has the fuel in it. I forget what it's called. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is looking great. I, li I like how the torch wheels also work with the axles. And get to the chopper. Yeah, it looks very viable as something to ride. Solid structure. Yeah, it's very solid. Taking in all the details here. Great job, Titan. With your motorcycle. Torturous motorcycle. You know how they put s skulls on them and make them look all hardcore anyway. I'm using a dozen dead bodies might be up that alley. So I was saying that it makes great, great spokes in the wheel. Looking, looking good. Okay, and finally we have Cammy's. Cammy's build. Cammy has made. Problem is, I can only show so much zone chat at once, so it makes it kind of hard to see what people wrote. Cammy says it has wheels. That's what their build is. Okay, asking Cammy to clarify what they've made. Definitely has a big seat up there. I want to get up there. Let's see if I can get up there. Follow look, from the Supreme Dark One. Thank you very much for the follow. It looks like us pedals almost. Yeah, it looks like you would pedal this. You just sit there, pedal it, and kind of steer it. Maybe like almost like a little, like a little toddler. toddler. It has some. Those hubcaps are really metal. <laughs> yeah these spikes sticking out with the dead bodies in them. Let everybody know that you don't want to mess with this three-year-old. Oh no, it's giving me like a vibe that you would pedal this. Maybe instead use it as a romantic date item. Maybe one person pedals one side and the other the other. I mean, the seat's quite l wide. Sit there together. And debate over who controls the wheel. Probably get in a fight over it. Really incredible builds. This is going to be hard. Like, really, really hard. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Thank you, Cammy. Thank you. And so we will have our judges whisper me their top one, two, and three picks, and then I will add up the scores, and we will declare a winner. Probably be a hard week for them to decide. So judges will whisper me their top one, two, and three picks. And in the meantime, 
we'll do a giveaway here for those in Twitch chat. If you are on PC, Mac, and a server, go ahead and put your at name in the Twitch chat along with the word torture and I'll send you one of each of these four torture items from the luxury vendor. If you want to go buy more of them, you can get them in Hollow City this weekend, this weekend only, so you'll get bandages, torture rack, body cage, and the exhumed, exhumed urn. So put your at name and torture, and I'll send those to you later tonight. So in the meantime, in the meantime, judges should be whispering me their top one, two, and three picks as to who they thought did the best job with Live Luxury Showdown number 13 and the torture items. So we have Mechanical Crab. Looks fantastic. Like, oh, it has a wheel for a butt. And I can even walk under it, that's pretty cool. We have Titan's Chopper. Winter cycle. Making good use of the wheels. Even has a nice nice seat in the back here. And then we have Cammy's wheeled ride. Go wherever you please with this. As long as you have the foot power for it. Okay, we are getting our judges scores in. I'll add those up. And we will see who is the winner. Adding them up. Not unanimous. Okay. We do have a winner. Winner of live Luxury Showdown number 13. Oh, I know, I messed my camera up. <laughs> oh. Okay, there we go. There we go. Winner of Live Luxury Showdown number 13. Is it... Wheeled Ride? Is it... The Motorcycle? Or is it the Mechanical Crab? And the winner, as determined by our esteemed judges, is Titan, the last Titan's motorcycle. Congratulations. Congratulations, Titan. Congrats. You Congratulations. Are the, you are the winner, which means that you will take home three of each of these torture items. So, big reward for being a winner here on Live Luxury Showdown. Congrats, Titan. Everybody in Twitch is going crazy. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Thank you. Thank you, Titan. And thank you, everybody, for being here. So, if you want to go get these torture items, head over to Hollow City, throw down some gold, and buy some of these for yourself, or for future investment purposes. And we will be having live luxury showdown number 14, same time, same place, next Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time here on Twitch. And supposedly that will be Dragon Bones themed items. So that will be all new items. So that will be a little bit different. That will be the first time 
since the very first week of the showdown where we'll have all new items. So that will Ooh. that'll be fun. So live vlog showdown number 14. If you want to be a contestant, shoot me a mail at jhart Ellis. We'd love to have some new people. Or if you've done it before and want to give it another go, that that could be okay too. So do do let me know if you'd like to be a contestant next week. Otherwise, I'm streaming regularly every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So go ahead and give me a follow. It's really easy and free to give a follow. So why not? And Or give a sub if you want to support me and ensure that I can keep doing these sorts of things. Doing live election showdown and doing gold making tips and housing tours. I'll be doing housing tours next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So if you have a house that you've been working on, that you want to show off, do or if you have multiple homes, that works too. It doesn't even have to be set as your primary. As long as you give me visitor access, I can come visit. So send me a list of your homes that you'd like me to come visit. Again, at Jhart Ellis. And Monday, we'll be doing gold making tips again. Come get advice on how to make you know, 200, 300,000 gold per hour. You can do it. And generally, the principle there is that you flip items, you use information that you get from from add-ons like master merchant awesome guild store so that you can you can make more gold than you can just going and farming or whatever else you think might be good you can do better if you have if you use some of my gold making tips that i, I stream every monday so you can get a good sense of how to make more gold in eso and then you can afford things like this afford afford these awesome luxury furnishings Ooh, Rush, Rush might be a contestant next week. Shoot me a mail. Shoot me a mail if you want to be a contestant next week. Love to have new people. You can do it. Okay, well, that will do it for Live Luxury Showdown number 13. Do join us again next Friday. Same time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Other than that, go go have some fun with ESO. You know, go get an animated corpse wheel, torture wheel, some bloody bandages. Make good use of them in your home in ESO. Have fun with it. And stay spicy. Have a great, great weekend, everybody.